What's going on everyone? So in today's video we're talking about the new character info we got for the new Ultra Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. Now I did do a video here talking about we actually could see an Ultra unit drop but to be honest I wasn't expecting an Ultra. I was expecting more of an LF than an Ultra but I mean look we can't complain. This Goku Black looks absolutely amazing. Definitely a really good way to end off the, um, the reveal for like, I would say probably a really good battle hour. I didn't really get to see the whole thing because that bad timing for me, but... I mean, as you can see there, this Goku Black looks really good. Like, he's still like an ultra unit, but he's, his attacks are a little bit different because he's got the scythe, so... If I want to go to the ultimate, I think it's about here is his ultimate. So that's probably his special skill. This is the ultimate here. Like, this has to be one of the best in the game. Like, yeah, I would say it's probably one of the best animations in the game, that. So, obviously very high, though, this Goku Black. Uh, we will be talking about whether you should actually summon on his banners. So, as you will know, Ultra Banners are definitely not the best to summon on. But what we'll do, we'll pull it up and then we'll talk about who I could see could be on the banner. But we'll pull up probably Hits Banner just to roughly show how bad Ultra Banners are. Alright, so I actually put up Ultra Gogeta's banner because I forgot this banner is actually still live up until the 10th, so we won't actually be seeing, I probably should say this at the start, but Goku Black, Ultra Goku Black won't be coming out till the 15th, so next week. So we have got a Zenkai coming up uh, tomorrow, they'll be revealed in a special video, which I'll probably do a separate video talking about that. But, um, so this is the banner here. Obviously, it's it's not too bad summon-wise. You get so three thousand um, chrono crystals, and then you have a free multi. So I guess that's good in one way. But let's have a look at the banner. So I'll just go Jita. Obviously, we'll just pretend that's going to be Goku Black, and then the rest here, you know, zero point three five percent for a drop rate for an ultra. It's not. It's definitely not the best. They need to improve that big time. I'd say I, I would at least like it to be. 0.5 like and then maybe put the LFs maybe 0.75 Even though that still makes it a little bit hard to pull but at least the ultra character is a bit easier in some case so But the other units here obviously aren't looking too good. We'll talk about it in a separate a separate one, but uh, These sparkings here aren't featured as well. They're just random sparkings, but Yeah, it's hard to say he's gonna be on the banner, but we'll have a quick look in a minute but just his rates alone, I would say it's not worth summoning for. Because, like, I, he's, he's probably going to be a really good unit, which is the, the really bad thing. I just don't think Ultra Banners in general are worth summoning on. The, the units, yeah, some of these units are really good. Mainly all the Ultras have been. On release, just the Banners haven't really been enticing. Like, don't get me wrong, some of these LFs are good. Like, I expect this UI Goku to get his Zenkai probably tomorrow. Gogeta Blue can be good still. He just needs a little bit more card draw speed and he'd probably be pretty good. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta as well is okay. And Half Crap Blue Fusions of Mars is he's okay. But we'll have a quick looking game who I think could be coming next. Like who could be on the banner. And we'll go from there. Alright. So what I could, I could see them doing eventually in the future. Which would help uh, like a lot of the Ultra Banners we're summoning for. He's actually adding another Ultra. Now, I don't know how soon they would do this because the only other one they could probably bring back, I would say, is this Kai and Goku. But then other than that, uh, I don't know. It's probably a little bit too early to bring an Ultra, like two Ultras on the same banner. But I do think that'd be a good enticement to summon on the banner if there's two Ultras on it that are good. Because all these Ultras are still really good. Obviously, the free-to-play ones have dropped a little bit, but... You know, all these other Ultras are still good, so even if you haven't got the 14 star, then, you, you know, you poor dude of another Ultra, at least it's still hype at the same time, but yet again, I'm not too sure when they'll add more Ultras in. But let's have a look at the, the LF list, because this is what they will be adding in for the featured units. So here can we probably cross off, so obviously Beast Gohan won't be on it, well, I... Would he be on it? No, I don't think so. I think it's a little bit too early still. Um, I guess this Vegeta could be on it if he gets his Zenkai tomorrow or this week. So I guess he could be a good option. 
Um, who else? Could it be Cola? Cola could be on it actually. I, I can't remember the last time he was on on the banner. Yeah, I think Cola would be a good choice as well. Um, this Trunks, I can't remember. He was on a banner recently. I can't remember exactly when, so he'd be a good option as well. He's not very good, but I, I think how I would look at it is the units have been on the banner in a while, like on an LF banner in a while. Should come back in the Ultron so you can pick him up and get more dupes if you get unlucky. Who else could they bring back? Your I sign Goku, I don't think he'll be this one here. Even though he might get his Zenkai, I don't think he'll be out in the banner. Because if... I mean, who else? I mean, this this Go, um, Goku here could get one as well. Like, he could be on the, on the banner as well. There's a few that could be on it, but it's hard to say for sure who is going to be on it. Because, like, it, it's hard to predict with Legends who's going to be on the banner, but... I would say there'd be a minimum of four other LFs on the banner. Hopefully they're good picks. Like I said, hopefully it's either this cool would be a good pick on the banner. But other than that, I don't know reason no horse. Broly could be on it. He hasn't been on that many banners, I don't recall. Other than that, yeah, it's it's hard to say exactly who's him in the banner. I mean, probably, if I had to guess... I'd say this Goku back probably be confirmed to be on the banner because he'd probably be able to help out on the team. Uh, Fusion Zamasu as well, he'll most likely be on it. Even though he's on the Gogeta one, I don't I don't see why they wouldn't put him on it. I mean, who else? I guess it's really mainly future units. This Trunks could be on it. Possibly. It's, it, I would say probably mainly future units, but Vegeta Blue as well. He, he's most likely going to be on the banner. Obviously, by now, a lot of people are probably going to 14 stars, but, like, most of these units. But, uh, yeah, that'll probably do for today's video, guys. I just want a quick little update, you know, saying if you should summon or not. All up, I would say probably summon if you want, but I wouldn't really... I wouldn't say it's a go-ahead go banner, like, use all your Chrono Crystals. Uh, I'd probably say if you get one... One of him, I'd probably just stop there. Unless you really like him, obviously go right ahead. But without seeing who else is going to be on the banner, I would say it's probably a skip at this point. But I'll probably do another video when the banner actually drops. Because I'll be doing a summing video then anyway, but I'll be talking, do another video afterwards discussing whether it's worth summing or not. But uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you're hyped for this new Ultra Goku Black. And uh, yeah, if you like this video and you want to see more, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one.